Biden has a couple of major news to share and I will have uh, Tom Malogny from Inside EVs in his weekly segment plugged in with Tom Malogny help me share those exciting news with you guys. We actually ended up hanging out at the LA Auto Show about what two weeks ago when the news broke but because of all of the hoopla with the Cybertruck and an LA Auto Show and a Ford uh, I decided to wait for a little bit because this is actually probably one of the most important news that I would be reporting to you guys about Biden this year and you know obviously there's no secret i've been in love with this brand from day one of when i saw the m to their uh, all-electric suv unveiled at the ces 2018 almost two years ago now which is amazing then those two years they kind of went from the you know a prototype all the way to pretty much uh production that's going to start very soon this is this is me taking a footage of them testing their m in the nevada desert a few weeks ago for the high temperature testing and we also did some in vegas and you know their factory was i visited the factory what last year it was just basically pile of dirt and now look it's pretty much done and check out that letter b that they that their logo that they uh, that's their front uh front uh office building which is really cool I, I can't wait to visit again to see the final product but they are definitely going in production in the next few months but there were always questions like okay but what about the us so, you know the, you know it would be essentially one of the first uh chinese companies to come to the us and sell their cars well these two news essentially put an end to any type of concerns that uh, you might have and um, I will I will show you my conversation with Tom and you know he he's he's been following this brand as well and I kind of want to have you guys hear this from someone else who you you know trust and love hopefully uh, because this is essential and this is very important um, and of course a quick reminder that this video uh, and this channel is sponsored by Byton so check out their M bite if you haven't already and make a reservation for crying out loud i mean I, it's it costs no money to make a reservation it takes about a minute of your time i've done it a long long time ago and that's why i'm really excited about you know the production uh, start and obviously them coming to the us uh, because i can't wait to drive one um and of course you can go to the description of this video to reserve one yourselves as well okay without further ado here's my conversation with tom malogny at the la auto show for which i was actually a brand ambassador and I'm looking forward to being the brand ambassador again next year um and there's uh, some major news about biden all right good to talk to you in person once again hello um we're at the la auto show uh though we've filmed a couple of things here so mm -hmm. by the time people are seeing it at home we're comfortably resting at our homes i'm back in new jersey yes and i'm back in sacramento california so but let's talk about this couple of news mm -hmm. from biden and you know i i very excited because it addresses two very important mm -hmm. sort of concerns that people mm -hmm. including myself you know i'm a fan but you know i have concerns too mm -hmm. so let's start with the licensing mm -hmm. people think it may not be very sexy about which brand is getting what license mm -hmm. but this one is actually very important tell us why so biton received their uh retail distributor license and also retail sales license in the u.s so while that's not as hard as it is to get in the U.S. as it might be in China, which it's really difficult, it's not that easy either. And Byton has been working on this for a while, and they're approved, and now they're licensed to sell cars here in the United States. Import and sell. Right, yes. You know, and, and, and also, you know, because they are going to have a hybrid type of a model of sales, they'll mm -hmm. sell direct and through the partners, yeah. it's extremely important. Well, you need a license to sell the cars here, you need a license to import the cars here. They have it now. They haven't fully disclosed what their hybrid sales model is going to be, but just by saying it's a hybrid sales model, we kind of know it's not what Tesla's doing with strictly direct sales, and they're not going to have bite and dealerships. So they're going to do something, some sort of a direct sale, but also have retail partners here in the U.S., some kind of like an established network that's already there that they're going to partner with. Now, whether, whether that's going to be uh, existing car manufacturer, which I don't think so, or like some sort of brick and mortar chain like yeah, Amazon like a, or, or, or True Car, or, 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 something? True car yeah. or something like that. Who knows? Maybe yeah. Best Buy. Yeah. You, you never know. Some, mm -hmm. so, something like that. I think that that's what they're going to be coming out with. Yeah, I'm very excited. And, you know, it, it does address the concern, hey, you know, they're going to start producing cars in China, but will China let them out? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the this is the first uh, this is the first step towards that well actually i probably should say last day i mean all, all they need is cars right yeah, now that's right and, and they're they coming they're coming and yeah. i'm really excited but um there's another good news that i've actually did not expect to be this good and mm -hmm. and there's a reason why we're standing next to the map we're not going to be doing weather mm -hmm. forecasts 
Electrify America. But, um, you know, we're standing in front of a map of Electrify America. You know, I can't imagine any of my viewers not being familiar with it, but it's essentially think about, about it. It's a superchargers for non-Tesla cars mm -hmm. with just as high as higher uh, uh, top rates of charging up to 350 kilowatts. And as you can see, they are covering a good chunk of the United States. There's also Electrify Canada as well. Um, and you are now able to travel with the non-Tesla as long as they have CCS port uh, throughout the country and it's only going to get better now. So let me add to that, yeah. through most of the country. Right now Electrify America has a little less than I think 2,000 stations employed. Uh, but when Byton brings their vehicles to market in 2021 to the U.S., they're actually going to start uh, retail sales in China in early 2020, but they're coming to the U.S. about a year later, sometime in 2021. By the end of 2021, Electrify America is going to have over 3,500 DC fast charge stations with a minimum charge rate of 150 kilowatts, many of them are the 350 kilowatts, at over 800 locations. So we're talking about an incredibly fast ramp up. Don't forget, Electrify America installed their first DC fast charger in May of last year. Last May, yeah. So in two and a half years, they're going to have 30, over 3,500 DC fast chargers at over 800 locations. That is an incredible pace. And Byton owners will be able to charge at any of these stations, level two and DC fast, for two years, unlimited charging. And that's the big deal that they've announced this week. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, I did not expect that because like, for example, even Audi, the Volkswagen Group brand, mm -hmm. um, has up to, I think, a thousand kilowatts uh, um, uh, per four years? I think they did by the miles. I think they said the thousand free charging miles or... It's uh, definitely I don't, confusing. I, I don't think it's the kilowatts. I think it's. I, I think they gave them either 1,000 or 2,000 miles of free charging. But but this unlimited thing for Byton, that's that's a big carrot. I, I, I think that people yeah. are going to be really interested. I mean, just think if you were to lease a Byton for three years, your first two years, you could just pay nothing for fuel, yeah. um, which... That's a whole nother uh, conversation. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan personally of these unlimited charging programs. I think that it's great. It's a great carrot. It's great for the manufacturer to dangle that, to sell another car, to put another car on the road. Um, but I also, I'm not in love with that because what happens is then you get people that really didn't need to use the, the DC fast chargers charging there all the time because it's free. And why should I charge at home if I can go around the block and charge free and that clogs up the stations and once we get more and more cars, it's going to be more of a problem. So while I'm not a huge fan of that philosophy, I understand why Biden's doing it and I think it's a good move for them to kind of get people excited about uh, their cars. Yeah, and the only br other brand that I know is getting very similar deal, which is uh, Porsche for, for its Taycan, which is three years of unlimited charging, mm -hmm. uh, but that car was going to cost four or five times more than the Biden car. Sure. And, and, and therefore, it, mm -hmm. but we should, we should also mention that uh, the cap for both Porsche and Biden is about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you can't unplug and plug back in. There's going to be an hour difference between that. Uh, mm -hmm. But but it's still, it's it, it's more than enough to charge most of the battery. Well, the thing is on the Bytons, the standard Byton M Byte is going to come with a 71 kilowatt hour usable capacity battery. And it charges at 120 kilowatts. So in that 30 minutes, that battery, no matter what the state of charge, can get you up to 80%. Now, the larger battery pack, that the 95 kilowatt hour usable, again, Byte and M-Byte will charge at 150 kilowatts. So it's got a larger battery, it can charge quicker. So both of the Byte and vehicles charging from, you know, 5% can get to 80% in that 30 minutes free. So you, you'll, you'll get 80% charged. Yeah, and, and I just want to kind of translate what you also said about, you know, by the time Byton is going to be on sale in America, uh, they're going to have about, what you said, about 800 stations. Just to translate it and what people know about Tesla, by the time Tesla had that many locations in the United States, people stopped complaining about that they don't have a location right. nearby. This is yeah. more than plenty, right? Yeah. Um, so, and you know, Electrify America, obviously not just for Byton, it's just for any car that yeah. has a CCS uh, fast charging capability. And Chatamo. Yeah, there's they always have a Chatamo. One, there's yeah, always there's one. always one Chatamo yeah. there, about 50 Step kilowatts. Step child. 
Yeah. Um, so, but I'm excited. I mean, this tells me that these guys are actually not just telling us they're coming to the United States. Mm -hmm. They are actually coming to the United States. Well, when you start to see them making plans and deals like this, it does lend a little bit more credibility. It's not just talking. Uh, if they were just talking and they were unsure if they were going to come or not, they probably wouldn't be going out and spending all their time and effort solidifying partnerships like this. But they're moving along. It's one of the things we've talked about from the beginning, as Alex said, I'm not a brand ambassador like he, he is. I just cover the EV space. I write on for Inside EVs. And I've been impressed with Byton from the beginning. They, they seem to be hitting most of their marks. They're, they, they've almost been on time for everything. Uh, unlike pretty much all of the other EV startups that we've seen, uh, besides, say, Rivian, who's really also doing fantastic, Byton is, has been just slowly going along. They built their factory. They get their licenses. They, they, they don't seem to have any major hiccups. They're getting funding. So, you know, I think I think Byton is, is for real. And uh, I think we're going to see the m -bite on the road. And this is why I felt so comfortable having them as sponsors become brand ambassadors because I was already a fan. I, I was there on day one when they unveiled it and I didn't even know what I was going to see. Yeah. From day one, I was like, oh my God. Like, I almost had the same moment when I saw the Model S for the first mm -hmm. time. It's like, oh, I think this is great, but you're right. They could have had so many issues like, you know, so many other brands. Now, they did have a bit of a delay with their production, right? They're delaying it by about, what, three to six months. Right. It's with, a bummer, unfortunately. And, and honestly, you know, pretty much everybody, including Tesla, has delays on launches. And, and you know, when you think about it, Biden only came on the scene at CES in 2018. So literally, it's been like two years, and yeah. they're going to start production in a, in in a few months. They yeah. already the factory's done. They already had some um, uh, cars production cars roll off, but they're going to start retail delivery. So like, in two and a half years, they've gone from obscurity to selling cars. So yeah, they had that one delay that was less than six months, but. I mean, that's incredible that that's the only delay they've had, in my opinion, at yeah, least. Yeah, and, and, you know, the delay was, it wasn't, it had nothing to do with production, as I found out. At first, I thought it was, mm -hmm. but, you know, essentially, it's just hard to get money in China, and they needed to close their C-Round. And today, we find out that uh, Porsche Taycan is also going to be delayed by yeah. a few so weeks. So, this is yeah. absolutely normal in this, yeah. in this business. Yeah. All right, it's always great hanging out with uh, Tom. Uh, we always have a great time. There's so many different things we ended up checking out at the LA Auto Show and, and the Ford event. But hey, listen, he, you know, with all seriousness, this is major for this brand. Uh, you know, their success was never just guaranteed. I know they had great management. I know they had good financing and they had some delays, right? They, they ended up delaying everything by about three to six months because the C round that just closed, you know, took a little bit longer the um, sort of the landscape of uh, uh, venture capital investments in uh, in China has changed drastically so it took them a little bit longer but they're finally done so they're moving forward to the pretty much the final stage of the factory construction and going in production um, they of course go in, uh, in production uh, and, and sales in China first but that means we're that much closer to getting these cars here in the United States and obviously seeing them in Europe and again I'm really excited I'm just kind of holding onto my vault for now and until I can get my hands on on Python I strongly recommend you guys make the reservation and this is not maybe getting paid for the sponsorship stocking I really think you should I mean at least take a look at one the reason I really like this car is because this is the first time I felt that the car was designed around the technology rather than technology being pushed into the car and I think they've done a really really good job you know that big screen that you guys see inside the car like people thought well you know it's not gonna go in production it's going in production so i'm just really excited about this brand and and honestly guys you know i i i really can't wait to kind of drive it around and show to people how how yet another way how electric cars are so much better in such a future uh and it's not just tesla doing but many other brands are just as exciting and some of the technologies even maybe more exciting if you will so all right looking forward to your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged